I'm back. African Tigress is back in Lagos and I'm so elated to be here. And the changes are impossible to miss. The city is rapidly modernizing and in case you didn't know, Lagos is the most popular city in Africa with a population of around 25 million people. It was also Nigeria's first capital before it was moved to Abuja in 1992. One major project that caught my eye is the rapid progress of the lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. This massive development is already reshaping the city, paving way for better connections and opportunities. Today, I'm giving you a raw and filtered experience of what it is like to ride on this ongoing project up to its most recent update. This road will eventually connect west of Nigeria to the east right to the border with Cameroon. So it's basically you can have a trip from Benin to Cameroon passing through Nigeria with so much ease. It's not just a game changer for Nigerians dealing with traffic, but also for intra-African trade and for adventure seekers traveling across the continent. Let's do this. Special and she reckless. Mbe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend How it day. Welcome to Lagos, Nigeria It's been a while since I was last year And I've noted a lot of changes in this city The other day I just boarded a light rail So they have these DMUs that are doing city transport And now there's something that's been trending And that is the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway So this is a highway that's going to run along the coastal communities Or the coastal region all the way to Calabar covering about 700 kilometers so today I want to do a tour around a VI but before I do that I felt like it's very important for me to give you a glimpse of this highway I can imagine how like, amazing it would be at the end of it all I'm imagining that this is going to be one of those scenic road trips or adventures that one can have so let's have a glimpse I'm told they started on phase one so let's go and have a glimpse of the Lagos Calabar highway well joining me today is one of the residents of this area <laughs> this Okada man is the one who's going to be taking me along he makes amazing content on a motorbike here in Lagos maybe you can tell us about your yeah. channel ah, mostly is uh, about discovering the world not only in Lagos in fact nowadays you can see videos oh, yes. outside yes. of Nigeria if you are now uh, checking out my channel you will see videos in Africa and even in Asia but I'm still back in Lagos to give you some new glances of the uh, city yeah. I'm gonna discover this behind us with you because in fact I don't know what's happening I did not go there since two months so I think there are a lot of things to be seen on this highway all right all right so when did the construction of this highway begin I think they started around uh, maybe four or five months ago. Four or five months yes. ago. They okay. have been quite fast. They actually. are doing it very fast. Really fast, really All fast. Right. Especially for this part. Do you think it's going to have any impact for people like you and the residents of this area? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a very com complex question because there are already a lot of impact for the people. Yeah. Building it makes it already, uh, I mean, build, building it creates already a lot of impact, positive impact, but also a lot of negative impact. Yeah. So many people have been impacted now because there have been a lot of expropriation. Uh -huh. So that's for the negative part and I would say for the future it must be very amazing because Lagos is a major city suffering a lot from traffic, traffic jam. Mm -hmm. And this is going to cut the traffic I think by two, let's see. Oh, alright, alright. So let's go on an adventure. So the place is built by high tech. I, this is the company that's constructing the highway that is doing the contract 700 kilometers. All right, so that's the section where we came from. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to go on the from that side. They say there's a different place we're going to enter from, but 
So this is the Kuramo water, right? Yes. And that the buildings over there. They're Basically, called... the building you see in front is where we were previously on the video. Yeah. They did not allow us to come inside the road here. Yeah. Before this was the sea in front of here. It called Eco Atlantic Sand Bank it was stopped here. And they just fill up. Oh, so the again. road has been made through filling. Yes. Yes. So was this water joining to the sea? The there Kuramo was a water. small tongue, the small first tongue of sand you see here, just behind this. Oh, water, sharks! Is the original Kuramo water, and oh. behind that was the sea. But so there is people who are squatting, squatters. Where? But you see, they came two days ago again. <laughs> yeah, they came. They are, they are living they, in the tent. Very few people nowadays. Yeah. The police came to destroy at least ten or twenty times. Okay. You can see the already buildings. Not much to see. Only many trucks. We had to come in through this side to just have a glimpse from the other side. That's fine. Let's try a yeah. different location. Let's find a different location. Oh, this is a nice car. Yes. Damn, very nice. <laughs> so we proceed driving around VI. Oh, VI means Victoria Islands. When I say VI, only Nigerians would know what VI is. <laughs> The VI means Victoria Island, so this is the popular Victoria Islands. Hello, Island. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. So basically, I think we can go and check from uh, Landmark Center. Yeah, I would love to see Landmark uh, especially. <laughs> you will see what's remaining. In I would see, it used to be my favorite spot for um, hanging out. One of my birthdays, I celebrated it at Landmark, so I want to see what's left of Landmark, Landmark Beach. Zenith has so many buildings in Victoria Island. Here's another Zenith bank. A Zenith bank with no money. I've never seen any money in that bank since more than one year and a half, two years. <laughs> what do you mean? How, how would you get money if you don't put the money? This actual uh, office of Zenith bank, uh, they never deliver money, whether the ATM or the offices. Oh, so when you go to get money, they, they don't no have, money. they just tell you they don't have. Uh -huh. Hello, bro. Hello. Oh. You are so popular here. <laughs> they have this side as well through Oniru Beach. Yes. Ah. Oniru has been completely destroyed too. Oh, so it's no longer the same beach where people used to go and hang out. Nothing remaining almost. Oh, wow. the popular landmark beach. Well, well, so the big hotel, the landmark hotel remained the big one, the big building. Yes. All the uh -huh. I would say all the bars on the seaside have been destroyed but the main uh -huh. Landmark is still here. Oh, okay. The shopping mall is here. Yes. Let's farm a little. So we can, gonna, we can shoot it again. So there's no longer activities at the beach no. anymore. So this ticketing office serves nothing. Yes. I don't think that's any. Oh yeah, there's nobody in there. Oh, yes, so okay. these are the containers they moved from the beach side. These were the container of the Seoul Beach, I think. Yes. Oh. 
Under construction or is it under destruction? I'm not sure. <laughs> they might be constructing it. I don't know. So they don't allow people in. Thank you, Baba. I think from here you can see the sun. The, the path? Let us walk one minute here. Okay. I want you to... This is what used to be the entrance to the beach. Mm -hmm. I think when you reach the previous beach, now you just arrive on the road. Oh my... There's no... I don't think that it continues from here. I know. So these are the kekes that used to offer people free ride from within the beach. So let's go and see. So this is what remained. All this used to be at the beach, the tent, you know. It used to be a very busy yes. beach, very. <laughs> when you remember how it was and when you see it today. It's, uh, it's, it's now a city. This is the closest you can see. Yeah, so you see people walking on the road here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah. Those are people who are probably working or living nearby. There will be only one road. <laughs> They, they did not plan any road behind the beach, uh, any beach behind the road, apparently. So it's just the road, no beach. So yeah. Lagosians will no longer go to the beach. Not here, I guess. Oh, that's not sad. Not here, yes. We'll have to drive till... Uh, nice Elico. road, but beach is important for people. We're trying to see where we can be able to... Make our way in. Make our way and get to see the coastal road in its full glory. It's a lot of construction. There's a lot of building that's yeah. taking place in Lagos right now. Like so many structures, so many apartments, including the Kuramo residence that we saw, are going to be easy here. did not exist the last time I was here. Right now, I feel like Victoria Island looks like a construction site. Like the whole island. Especially the beach side. Yeah, yes. the beach side. There's a lot of construction going on all over. Oh yeah. This one is deep. <laughs> so this was have to be the entrance of Seoul Beach here, our good beach. There was a beach here? Yes. Maybe even it's better than Landmark Beach. Oh, Let us try it to was check. called what? Soul Beach. Soul Beach. Oh, uh, it's no blocked, way. looks like blocked by sand. Let us try to check. What it looks like. <laughs> no, <That's> way. no way. <laughs> wow. No way to be high. Oh, you see all these condominiums now, yeah. really newly built. He's saying we go around? He's directing you to go around to him. This is the road. Okay, can I go inside? Road? Where exactly are you going? I just want to check road sites. Okay. You can find your way. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, okay thank, thank you. you so much. All right. So. Finally, we're close to seeing it. <laughs> we're first, close to having a glimpse. First, we have to climb some sand. Do I need to come off? I think you might need, yes. Yes, this one may be a little bit tricky. Yeah, yeah let me get off. Okay. I don't want to, to put you down. All right. Okay. He said we go find we go to the right, right? That's what he said. This is not the road. The road is still there. The road is starting from here and goes very far. No, this is not part of the highway. This is no. Ah, the highway can't... is still there. Okay. Oh, Remember yeah, the buildings right. are on this side. Oh yeah. What was this? Oh, no, I'm okay. okay. No, you're right. You're totally right. <laughs> oh, this is oh, this place is going to change, especially when the completion is done. So the GT, see this is the GT of the quarter. Oh that's the prolongated. Is it a good way to say it? Uh-huh. Then lash it. Those ones? 
No, no. Huh? At the gates, they might be asking uh -huh. money. Why can't you go this way? You and want then to turn. Yes, you I want to go a little bit. You want to finish? No, we can't finish. But you can get close and turn before. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we can get close and turn and yeah, yeah. go to the farthest it can take us. Here. Yes. This is where we started the video. <laughs> now you will have a better lens. Yeah, now we have a better a better video. A better view. You can imagine yourself starting from Lagos at 12 p.m. and reaching Calaba around maybe 6 p.m. Five six, that yes. would be great. <laughs> That, that would be, be great. A game changer. For and this Nigeria. is going to be six lane. Yes. Yeah, one, two, three, three, three on each side. That's six lane. I see they have pedestrian. They have sites demarcated for the pedestrians. So hoping they'll have a lot of uh, bridge for people to cross in case the beach is still going to be here. This is a raw and filtered experience. They build nice houses, lots of nice houses as they build in at the waterfront, it will be really nice. the place yes. so I think basically on the right side here all this sand I think there's gonna be a beach 
Or maybe this is the the rest of Eco Atlantic because they plan to. I think. Master Ludo. <laughs> what is he saying? Master Ludo. Oh, Mr. Master Ludo. Yes. You are that popular in this. <laughs> well done, this <laughs> Yes, these guys were living on Kuramu water before it was destroyed. Oh, so you knew them? Yes, they are still around here apparently. I mean, it looks like some families are going to enjoy on the sand. These are not workers. They are going to the beach. Yes, looks like. Yeah. You see, I can see a daddy, a mom. And there's a car driving over there. This may be workers. Maybe that's the one they said for Eco Atlantic. They offer scenic tours. This was landmark, man. This place was such a landmark. Now they're having these apartments for sale, beachfront up. Oh, now they are going to be not beachfront really, water view. Yes. Water view apartments. until it takes us. Yes. Is it possible? Let's see. I think it's going at least till Jacande. Might be already 10 or 20 kilometers. Oh, the first phase, I saw it was going to be about 40 something kilometers. So that's going to be maybe from Lagos to somewhere after Aja. From the roundabout that is. Or beyond actually. What's interesting is the road takes a turn and comes back inland a bit. Yes. These buildings are still going to be here. I think what you're following is going to be the road. Yes. But then there's these buildings that are going to be at the waterfront. These ones. The road will come here. Maybe going this way and coming that way, like part of it. But let's go. Because these ones look like they're not going to be destroyed. This part here, yeah. we are on the on the ground. I mean, before this was already the ground. Oh, so and we left they, the beach side. Yes, but when they dug the road, they have destroyed a lot of uh, houses, houses, and also expropriate a lot of people who just lived in shanties on that road. Oh. This is New Market Road here. So is it a new road? No, no. The place is called New Market. Oh. I mean, the road here is very new. Yeah. Okay. So this road did not exist? No, it did not. Wow! <laughs> I cannot believe it. It's changed, right? Yes. Are we at Aja yet? No. Oh. If we want to go to Aja at this speed, we take an hour. Oh. Yes. I feel like the road splits into two at certain points. This one we're probably going, and then that, that, oh, that one going, this one coming back. Then they meet at a certain point. Because the other night when we went camping, there was a road just in front of the water. So we couldn't even continue with that. We couldn't go to the beach because of the road. They have sand filled it. 
but let's see. Is, so is this still VI? Uh, yeah, more or less. We are at the junction between VI and Leki now. Oh, okay. This place, we are somewhere called Marua. Oh, Marua, around Marua Beach. Yes. You see this? So many buildings are coming up. In the next three years, this place is going to be totally different. Go and check at the seaside here. Yeah, Anna, I see on the seaside. Woo! <laughs> seaside. Oh, so the road would continue that way? Yes. And I think yes. part of it to the seaside. Let's see if there's some more. Oh, we can't see anything. I'll just remember. This is uh, around the place where we came camping. They've sand filled it, but let's try and see. This is where we came camping the other day. Uh, here you can see the beach. Let's see. There's a beach to that opposite side we went to. How are you, my friend? Hi. Oh, well done. We did come to this place. I remember you were talking about this place. You see, people doing their You prayer. see, the road is there. The sun filling it. That's the road. That's what I told you. There's going to be two parts to the road. That's still part of the road. So the road, part of it goes to the front this way, and part of it is behind that we used. So probably three lanes at the front of these buildings because towards that side there's a beach down there that's why we went camping uh -huh, okay. so they are sun filling it you see they, there's even yeah, yeah, yeah. machines working on them let me see if i can zoom yeah around there good afternoon so that's still going to be i didn't know that road would be split in two parts yeah it splits well done, well done. yeah the road split into two you thought it was going to be one you thought it was going to be one. That's yeah. why when we came camping, the team that organized camping, they didn't know that this place was going to be Sandfield. Sand so when we came to this camp at the beach, camp? there's a beach down there called okay. Gu Leisha Gu, oh, okay. something down there. Okay. Yeah, so we couldn't access the beach because of the sand. So meaning you can see the process. I wish you could go closer. I would run a show. Maybe you can go. Yeah, we can go closer to the beach. Yeah, it's more rough than where we were before, well, than where we were in Bariga. All these ones are too rough. They know you. No, no, I don't know. I don't know that. Uh, I'm not staying here. I'm just staying here. Ah. So, it may be... Mama Lungu. Welcome, bro. Mama Lungu. Welcome, Welcome, bro. How many of you I'm here, I'm here. That's nice. Don't be Lulu, 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 Lulu. Oh, they're calling you Baba Lulu. So they, <laughs> your daughter. So you used to come, you come here with your daughter. Oh, you've known him for Actually, seven years. Yeah, yes. Oh. Ten dollar. Okay. Yes. Do you have any news from this ten dollar? Do you have any news from him? No, no, no. No news from this guy. Okay. 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 Guys are doing some foil. Wow. They are doing what? Foil. What is foil? Well done, bro. Ah, well what? done. What I've is... never seen any foil around here. What do you? Huh? What? I say I never see anybody with a foil in Nigeria in my life. What? What is foil? Are you doing this yourself? No, this is my boss. Simply, come here. So Who what is your are they boss? Doing? I want to know your boss. I beg. 
Yeah. Okay, it's the Oibo bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oibo. Okay. What is foil? Uh, foil is this. It's like surfboard with this. Oh. Well so done, well done. you surf okay. the waves? Let's go the applause. Okay, don't do that. Well done, sir. I see you enjoying. Can you manage foil? Okay, I think we know each other. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> oh, I do surf myself. Surf, I don't know how to manage the, the kites. Huh? What's your name? Ludo, Ludo. Ah, you do uh, surfing on Surfing, the yeah, Taqua? surfing. Lag, yeah. I used to go a lot in Takwa, yes. Oh, then you know this guy? Say again? You know the guys there, Nimrod, David? Oh, I wanna see how the closest I can get. Oh, there's someone showering. <laughs> taking a shower there's a man showering on that side so i'm going to turn back but basically there's excavators and equipment that are doing some sun filling over that side let me zoom yeah around that place they are sun filling it so i'm very sure in the next couple of days this beach would be gone too. So let me turn back. <laughs> I didn't notice someone was taking a shower on that side. So. That is where the highway is. We're going to continue following it on the other side a little bit, you know, to just see this changing face of Lagos. What did you say that this place is going to be? So I was speaking with these two men, you maybe saw in the video when we were arriving and they told us this road will turn here and create a small marina which is going to be blocked in between the road and the mainland. Yeah. And then it will turn again inside land here. Oh, and okay. So people can... The, their boat, yachts and all that. Okay. And this is going to be the end of Eco-Atlantic. What do you mean it's, it's going to be the end of Eco Atlantic? Are they still building Eco Atlantic? They are still filling. So Eco Atlantic is going to grow all yes. the way to this jetty. Yes. Let me see if I'm able to zoom the yes. light. So Eco Atlantic is going to be bigger than it is already. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I think this will actually mark the end so of Eco Atlantic. So it would be now a marina. But it will mostly serve the people of Eco Atlantic, the residents of Eco Atlantic and all that, right? I think we must be able to find a map of the, of the road. Of the road and uh, of this project with this marina. Uh-huh. Let's see. Okay, let's go. That's crazy. This actually here is the jetty where I brought you. Yeah, that's once. the jetty we were at. Oh, okay. Two years ago? Yes. No, more than that, it was the first time you came here. It, 20, about three years ago. Three years ago. Wow. Blue waters. Uh, yeah, I remember this building has been there. Blue water. Was it complete? Maybe it was under construction. It was, under, it was almost complete. Yes. It's now occupied. I'm sure the price of buying it right now is higher compared to those three years ago. He's using uh, YouTube to promote it. Ah, that's good. I think we can make a U-turn. and there's no need to go further. Uh, I mean, here's um, going to be um, close for yeah, sure. Yeah, so I, I'm just curious of the other one. Like the other one, I want to see a little more of the other one if there's any construction that's taken place. A little bit. The one that we they, we they parted from, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that we were following. Let's go back to the main highway. This gate is closed, so go this way. The cars, the same way the cars are coming. Let's 
everyone is just driving how they want. The thought behind it is nice. I hope it's gonna be like effective, you know? So, back on the coastal highway. Yeah, back on the coastal highway. That's still the coastal highway. So yeah. it's like they, d some places they go wide and there's some buildings in between and then back. So this is a raw and filtered full experience. This is actually not a small experience. This is an exclusivity. This is exclusive. You guys belong to the first one to take the expressway, the new expressway. <laughs> because we've done all the way from where it started at Echo Roundabout, right? Yes. We've come all the way, despite the challenges initially, and we are back on the on the road, you know. Now we are arriving in Lekki. Oh. oh, this is Lekki. Yes. The big Lekki side phase of what? Lekki phase one. Okay. I think we might meet the entrance to a previous beach which was called Elegushi. Elegushi. I don't know if you heard or if well, you've been there. We'll see. It must be there. a lot of sand that they are harvesting to sand fill the ocean. Yes. Mm, that's costly. Yeah, even that road here. I mean, yeah. you can see we are maybe four yeah. meters high. Yeah. All this is sand filling also. But it had been sand filled before the project. Yes. No, it has been sand filled for the road. Six months ago, there was no sand here. Oh, 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 okay, okay. The people of Lekki are going to enjoy less traffic. The people of Aja, Ekbe. I think that's why they control the entrance. Because you see, even driving 20 kilometers per hour, you can actually already use that road and be winning a lot of time if you take this it. road, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Be actually, yeah. Yes. Yes. Actually, like on, when there's no construction going on, you can actually get in. And if it wasn't blocked, right now you can get in from the Echo Roundabout. Yes. And then you can still come all the way to where we are right now, and you'll be saving so much traffic. This is the lucky side. It's gonna open up businesses as well. So there were houses. Where are we driving right now? See the move. All these estates are new. Some of them got destroyed though for this road to to exist. Unless it was already here. And those, those are nice. Yes, those are very nice. Nice. I mean townhouses and condos and houses. I've not been to this side of Lakey. I think I've been to phase two. Most of the time I go to phase two. So the shelters, the shacks are along the road is the people who got displaced. Yes. But they're only gonna be there temporary. They might be forced to keep moving and moving and moving. They're already establishing small businesses. Ah, small they, bars, they are selling dinner, small food, food, small chops.
looks like this is the end. I mean, uh, the, let's get them. The make a U turn there. Let's get uh, make a U turn at the very end because the the remaining is sand. We can't go there unless you want to get stuck. Oh, <laughs> wow! This is an exclusive, real time update, full update. You know. There's no road. <laughs> so you, see, you already said there's no road. So from here it's sand. So this is Lekki Phase 1 still. Mm -hmm. So this is where the we will call Lagos. This place, uh, maybe Jackande. Jackande. The full name could be Jackande. I mean, oh. the more precise name. Oh. If you want to point it out on the map. Okay. Oh. All right. You see how many bricks they are building. So oh, so yeah, the, the bricks are the what they're putting on. And the road. This is what they use for to build all these new buildings. Oh, yeah. you mean the houses, not the road? Yes, yes, these bricks are for the houses. So this is where the road has reached. This is the latest update from Lagos, Calabar Coastal Highway. Okay. What do you think? What do you think of the Lagos, Calabar Coastal Highway? Myself? Mm -hmm. What do I think about it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to think. <laughs> it's a very complex thing because, as I told you many Divided times, opinion. I think it's going to change the life of uh, Nigerian people mm -hmm. in a good way in the future. Mm -hmm. But I've also observed that it makes the life very difficult for many people nowadays. Immediately. Because, I mean, there are thousands of people coming to work in VI and. Mostly they ended up in some places who became shanty and all these shanties have been uh, uh -huh. destroyed to create these roads and uh, I don't know what to think. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sad to see my friends suffering now, actually. Okay. But uh, yes, I think in uh, the next years it's going to change the face of uh, Lagos and change the life of the commuter in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Because actually now on that road we are driving if we were taking the Lekki Exp Expressway from VI to Aja, it can be up to two hours yeah. for 30 kilometers. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite sure that after the completion of that road, it will take not yes. much than 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So people who bought land in places like Ebe, they are going to uh, Ekbe. Yeah. They are going to have it easy now. Yes. Definitely. And I'm sure it's going to be expensive. I know some friends who've who've bought. Oh, it's closed. This is Elegushi. Oh, that's the Elegushi Beach. Yeah. No more Elegushi Beach. <laughs> ah. this side now. New. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yes, yes. You mean in Oniru? No, no, no. The main entrance here. Okay. Okay. okay, the main entrance. Okay, I think I tell you. Yeah, okay. You can see travel, they can open the gate here for you. Just go and No problem. And there are still some places to take drinks? Yeah, yeah. Said you is awesome. Let us take the main gate. I know where it is here. It's not far. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, boss. Thank you, Ogami. Maybe a weekend now. Ah, it's not It's not a simple weekend. It's an independence. It's not a. <laughs> I mean, if you feel like taking a drink uh -huh. on the beach, yeah, we can go and have a drink by the beach. I think it can be interesting. That's to how we are going to celebrate independence. Yes. <laughs> With a drink by the beach before it's closed, completely shut by the new road. when they use to the landfill or some, some uh, use, uh, just entrance from here. I got the beach. Yeah. Front, yeah. Thank you, boss. 
So a lot of entrances to the beach have now been blocked. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. What's interesting, interesting is the fact that how do they know you are going to the beach? Because they see Oibo on the motorcycle. They see Oibo on motorcycle. <laughs> they but, think beach. What does Oibo do On motorcycle here? doing here, if not looking for the beach. Yes. Oibo, welcome. Oh. Oibo, welcome. I, I mean, I now understand where everybody went. Oh, you are seeing them? You yeah. used to see them around? No, because, I mean, I've seen many places destroyed, but I was wondering where the people went. Uh -huh. And I was wondering if they will be allowed to stay like they do on the side of the road. I think they can do that temporarily. Yes, that is, I mean, that is good. <laughs> Most of the people staying in this... But uh, let's hope the, their life or their situation changes, because it's not going to be permanent. They might not stay on the expressway on the sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. beach can you carry me no i cannot carry you he wants us to carry him yes. <laughs> so i think this was the official entrance on the left previously so let's see if it's still here Okay. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, Nikkei Art Gallery is here. Yeah, we're looking our back there. Oh, I've been there, but I can't remember where. Oh, yeah, here's the entrance. Welcome to Olegushi Beach. I hope there's no hole. Small, 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 small. Okay. <laughs> ah, Olegushi Beach. So, Is it also going to be destroyed? Private beach I resort. Think. It's still going to be, it's going to get destroyed over time as well. They will make one alarm. Ah. They will ask for gate fee. Okay. So, I'm doing it. I avoid the small groups. Alright. So, welcome to Eregushi. So, this one is not affected. Lucky people would still have a beach to go to. The only difference is like the beach in Nigeria is not free. There's no free beach in Nigeria, like you have to pay. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay, it looks nice. It's almost like what, uh, how is it called? It's almost like what landmark used to look yes. like. Yeah, because from what I'm seeing, the cubanas, the paved road. Yes. It's almost like what Landmark used to look like. They really upgraded it. <laughs> oh, they upgraded it. I, I mean, mean, now they have a uh, reason to upgrade. Yes, this was very everyone, local before. Now it Because becomes... everyone needs a beach to go to, a good beach. All the clients who used to go to, to Landmark. Landmark, good beach. And they can no longer so... go there, so they can come here. The problem with the beaches here, you pay to get in, you pay to get a seat, <laughs> you, pay everything. you pay for the drink. Like, you pay for everything, even to sit on a plastic seat. Ali. Even if you, or some would have a price. 
some would have a price they would say oh they're still upgrading it wow it has no link with the legushi i have left a few years ago they I have upgraded it yes See, they've also painted it. It's now going to be like it's going to be like what landmark was. That's it. That it is. And there's beachfront apartment. Yes. Or maybe locate. Oh, yeah. Or Airbnb. Yeah. Rental hotel. Rentals. Yeah. I cannot believe this. Those are all new. Before Eleguchi Beach was just made of uh, bamboo houses. Oh. There was no concrete, only bamboo bars. Oh. So. That's yeah. something a lot has really changed. Yes. A lot has changed in, in Lagos in the past. Like in the past one year, two years, like, you know. Wave Beach. Yeah. No, the next one seems to be better. We'll take a, a 3,000 uh, Nera beer. <laughs> so go. after paying. Well done, bro. Huh? You say what? So you pay at the gate, and then once you come, you pay for you pay here again. So pay there, pay here, so you pay almost, a, before you sit, you pay. Before you sit, you pay 5,000. Then uh -huh. you have to pay 3,000 minimum to sit. Uh-huh. And then maybe the beer and will the, be And the 3,000 is probably plastic chair. Yes. And then a good chair, or a, if you're in a Cubana, you pay. This is a big problem in Lagos. I How remember. can you enjoy a beach if you are normal people? If you are medium class people, you cannot enjoy beach. You cannot okay. enjoy, you go to the river. Yes. Or lagoon. I could be paying it, but I could. Be. You pay for uh, you pay there at yeah, the entrance. entrance. Yeah. Then you pay if you are coming here, you pay. Yeah. How much do you say here? Three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah. Then you need to pay for five thousand. Five thousand. And then if you wanna see it, you're going to pay, pay again. again. So uh, if you go to the next one, yeah. you pay again because this is a different, right? This yes. is different from Wave. Yeah. So if you're going to Wave Beach again, you pay. You pay. That's, That's too much. Yeah. And the one they sit, they'll give you probably plastic chair. If you want Cubana, you pay hundred probably hundred thousand. Yeah. That's, That's too much. That's very crazy. Yeah, it's too much. I don't, I don't think it's right. No, at all. It's not right. So where do an average Lagosian enjoy life? Lagos for you. They just do everything. The beach, they took it for them to make big understand. business. They, they don't want to... It's a private beach. It used to be public. It used to be public. Free for anyone to yes, get in. Yeah. So now they've made it private. Private, yeah. Can't, like, can't you see like every every uh, entrance has its own name? Yeah, that's what I've noticed. And for every entrance yeah, you're paying again. This is the lowest. The one we went down there, yeah. it's 7,500. The wave one? Just to enter. Huh. Ah. Oh, yeah. Bumba. That's a big problem. Big problem. Yeah. OK, dear. All right. Uh, madam. So what will you do now? I'm waiting for my friend. Will Let's you come this. inside? I don't have choice. I just want to choose. Yes, yes. All right. So basically, okay. they force us to drop our money. This is the thing. OK. Madam, bye-bye. Right. Bye. -bye. Bye. Ah, that's a big, 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 Rust. big. That's a big problem. It's like any opportunity, anyone gate to make money, they do it. I mean, if they make some beach private, they should also have one that cannot be privatized. You know, this for everyone, so that people at least can have like public and private beach. So someone can select if they wanna go to a public one or a private one. Someone can come with their camping chair, with their drinks and their cooler, you know. Okay. I think we can go here. The only option.
everywhere. You see, they have also put <laughs> something. <laughs> Everyone has to collect. See, even these ones have put barrier. Look, you can't go. Everyone has put barrier. They Bruce, have to collect. Well done, sir. Yes. I just want to stay five minutes around here. Then I go. Huh? Why that, to go? Why that? Say again? No photo shoot, no. If you can provide us uh, one beer, this is uh, the way I can give you money because I see maybe you have you have drink inside here. Yeah. Can we sit here? Is it okay? For sure, I will pay my beer. I pay my beer. Yes, thank you, my chairman. I'm telling you, even this one that you thought is public. Everyone don't collect. <laughs> Everyone won't collect. Yes, this is Ninja for you. <sighs> he's privatizing it now, making it yes. his own too. Yes. And he's put his barrier <laughs> over there. Crazy. I would rather drink with them. Okay, so <laughs> after paying entrance fee, this was, was an official entrance. This is an official entrance. So we now, it's like everyone gets whatever they get, everyone gets whatever they can grab and privatize it. Like, you know, we need to start, I need to go to a public beach in Nigeria now that I don't have to pay for anything. But this is a problem because in Nigeria, they don't want to see public beach. This is one thing I don't understand. Yeah. Every beach has been privatized. Before it was privatized, they destroy the private beach and they privatize everything. Again. Well done, boss, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thanks. I know you for this on your side before. Yes. But yes, I know. I know, that's why you do your business now. Okay. Oh. How do you feel about this? You lost your customers. Sorry, sorry. Take care. Which beach is this? This belongs to the state which is close here. Just to the back here. Oh. So no, it's not it's so public. Oh, okay. No public beach. All right, all right. So this is. I'm wondering if the boats are paying. One of the places we've been able to access the beach, but not without giving out something small. because this is not like one of now the problem is when the beach is not private it's not going to be as clean you see this one because it's all like a beach this is more like public but it's just someone who's decided to make money off it so you can see it's dirty okay so i think we're going to be ending the video here let me turn this camera this way all right all right so i hope you truly enjoyed today's episode let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm going to put his link in the description he has a lot of videos he does travel content and i, I discovered you first through your popular legos drive through uh -huh. videos and you used to be a faceless channel yeah so that's true <laughs> you are actually the first one who told me i should show my face i mean not the first one because some of the guys in my audience were telling me we'd like Who's to show this? your face yeah but so maybe you are the one who convinced me to show my face yeah i was like you don't you, you can show your face sometimes you know a mix of both instead of just being See, a faceless uh, i'm too channel. ugly oh, to show my face <laughs> <laughs> You have to come and check my channel yeah, because go, there are a lot of things to see. Yeah, really go, go, go show him yes. some love, subscribe yes. to his channel, very helpful. He really helped me a lot uh, during my, my first and second visit to 
Nigeria. You just don't know. You, you really don't know. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. So see you in the next episode. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I always say sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this episode. And I'll definitely see you on the next one. But until then, bye-bye. Come on down. Come on down, my channel. <laughs> All right. Let's...